Hi there everyone, my name is Yuan Paul Gregory. I'm the author of Overcome Tough Times and also a real estate negotiator with Remax Malaysia. Okay, rule number one for co-agency practice, never pass your name card to the uh, agent's buyer. Huh? Very, very crucial. You have to act as a professional real estate negotiator or real estate agent. Huh? Never ever pass your name card unless your real estate agent or real estate negotiator ask you to. Hey, Yuan, can you please pass? Please pass. Then, okay. If they ask you, but not behind their back, or not if the buyer asks you, you have to give no, no way. Eh? Why? Because this is the same way that how they're going to treat your clients or how the way they treat your clients. Of course, some people do it to your customer, it's okay. All right? So you just tell them you're not supposed to do that. Lah, eh? But for co-agency practice, my dear friends, never give your card to another co-agent's uh, uh, client. Eh? Never do that, okay? So that's the first practice that you should do that. Second, you must be on time, my dear friends. Never ever be late. Lah. Of course, sometimes unforeseen circumstances, but don't be late. You know, some agents, what they have is that they have uh, back-to-back meetings or back-to-back viewings. If this first appointment is late, the second appointment is late, and the third appointment is late. So some top agents, what they do is that you are late for this one, they cancel the thing and they, went, they go to the next city. So you don't say, oh, the first one action, lah, this and that. What to do? You are late or you're supposed to come early. If the viewings at 2 o'clock, what time must you be there? Some people say at least 1.45. Some people say I'm 150, I'm there 150 is still very early, Johan. Like 10 minutes earlier. But for me, my practice is that I will go one hour before my viewing time. Just in case there's an accident at the highway or there's some hiccups or there's some jam. We never know. We never know, my dear friends. So better to have one hour a grace period. Just imagine that. Just imagine again. Okay? Why one hour? If you have a very, very important uh, meeting, you're supposed to collect a check. 10 million check, huh? 10 million, I mind you, 10 million. If the appointment is at 2 o'clock, what time will you go? Huh? Wow, so early at 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. <laughs> wow, wow, 4 hours. Huh? Wow, you're very young, huh? you're very desperate. Huh? <laughs> no, huh? okay, huh? still go one hour before that, huh? or at least one and a half hour just in case. Huh? So that is the importance. So for every movie, you need to treat it as important like you're collecting a 10 million check or a 100 million check. Right, and don't give all the excuses, eh? So I hope, that, I hope uh, this uh, sharing will help you uh, to close your million dollar uh, properties, eh? I wish you all the best and God bless you. Take care. Bye bye.